Hi, everybody. Dr. Colden, this man's condition is deteriorating. What says Dr. Fuller? It's his patient, after all. I'm Iron Psycho, he, and welcome back to Call of Cthulhu. He's busy with Captain Fitzroy. He specifically asked us not to bother him when that's the case. Forgot. Oh, Forgot about course. this. It's been a bit I'll of time. I'll see what I can do. Mr. Blake, can you hear me? I'm Dr. Colden. We'll take care of you. Mm -hmm. There's nothing we can do. I tried talking to him. He's catatonic. What can you tell me about him? He was highly agitated an hour ago. We were about to tie him down when he fell asleep. Good. Ten minutes ago, he curled up into a fetal position. I thought he was waking up, but no. Tell me about his symptoms. His temperature has been going down, his skin losing its color, his body rigid. I closed his eyes myself. They were glassing over. I didn't want them to dry what? out. And I couldn't bear to look at the expression on his face. You did well. Don't worry. Let's stay professional, if you will. Where is I he from? recognize him. Did he just arrive on the island? He said he worked on the docks, but not with Captain Fitzroy. Hmm. I think he works for Ms. Baker. Uh-oh. Who? You know, the woman at the head of their gang. They call her Cat. Oh, I see. Do you have other questions? Yeah, I'm still talking. Show me his file. That... That's not possible. You just flip me Don't off. tell me Dr. Fuller has taken this file as well. We need it. That's why I called you. This man's ailment has been hidden from us. That's what I doubt. Come on now. What was he treated for? An intoxication, I was told. After inhaling chemicals. Like what? Okay. That'll do for the time being. Any idea what this man might be undergoing? I don't know. I need to examine him. Very well. I'll examine him. Do 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 do. Do I not have the medical for that? I should. Oh, I have to Severe press E. Severe malnutrition. <laughs> Swollen abdomen with traces of tachycardia. I was I was clicking rather than Doesn't seem pressing like an edema. E. Slight protuberances seem to indicate the presence of a foreign body. I mean, he's not from here. His skin shows abnormal loss of color and seems dried out. He's totally dehydrated. Ow, 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 ow. His fingertips and toes seem to feature a slight ring under the skin. Tender at the touch. Ew. Sticky. Ew. Was he an octopus? 30-year-old subject. Severe hypothermia. Erythematous papules around the What is flying eardrums. around me? I don't like that. Necrosed palupal tissue. And as always, I'm this recording late at night. So, doctor, an opinion? I'm not sure I have the necessary knowledge to treat this man. Don't say that. You're our most worthy doctor after Dr. Fuller. Some of his symptoms are beyond my comprehension. What Ow. did you find? Uh, here's the first one. His abdomen. It would seem there's something inside. Oh god, it's alien, he isn't hasn't it? hasn't eaten in days. Are you certain it's not an edema? No. Can't you recognize an edema? Pushing with your finger won't leave a trace. And look at these bumps. <laughs> it's not like he could be pregnant. Whatever it is, this man has something inside him that shouldn't be there. It's alien. We should operate on him at once. Awesome. Dr. Fuller said not to worry. That the edema would go away by itself. You know, I'm not sure Dr. Fuller is telling the truth. <laughs> uh... In spite of the muscle contractions, his arms seem limp. Yes. They can't have decalcified. Not at this rate. And yet, if there is a bone in this arm, it's softer than that of a newborn baby. Yee. What about his cranium? It's soft at the touch. It does seem like the skull of a baby. She did not exclaim that. Look at that. these sticky rings growing at his fingertips. What can be happening? Yeah. I'm sure you'll find an explanation. You have to. 
not with I see me missing information. But he's still dehydrated. <coughs> when was his last IV? He's constantly under perfusion. I've even gone beyond the recommended dose to no avail. And you won't believe me, but when we bathed him earlier, he felt better. He seemed to feel better. Oh, yes. Like he needs an aquarium, not a perfusion. But that doesn't explain his condition. Well, if that's the case, I would have just left him inside of like a, I a, a tub. Myself, but these symptoms are not those usually associated with the human species. What do you mean? Don't tell me you believe in extraterrestrials. Extra no, I do. At this, this point, this poor man is from our world, all right. But his body is undergoing unnatural mutations. He's, it's like this transformation. It's like Predator decided to come by and can't. decided to like Where could he have gotten such do this again. I pray that it's not here. Dr. Cowardly, may I know what you're doing to my patient? What I'm doing? How about what you've done to him? Let us calm down, my dear Marie. I don't appreciate your tone. God, I don't your like these. I've done to him just particles. To all my patients. Provide him with the best available care. He did word that really well, though. Your is without limit. It's your homemade drug again, is it not? Those people are not your guinea pigs. There, there. What have you seen to put you in such a state? I've, I've never his seen. Limbs, his body temperature. I don't know what experiments you've undertaken, but this is going too far. Oh, I sense some excitement beneath your indignation. Could it be you wish to join me in my scientific endeavors? You are a brilliant physician, Dr. Fuller, but this man... This man has the attributes of... Some kind of animal. Fascinating. An animal, you say? Could you be more precise? Cephalopod, perhaps? I didn't even give this unit... You. It clearly you does, because he gave me the... Uh... I know your thirst for knowledge, Doctor. It's your innocent worries for this man that have you overreacting. For this man, and the others whose medical files you've been hiding. I have to protect my discovery. These people owe me their life, but the world isn't ready yet. It will be, in time. I will not let you do this. You disappoint me, Marie. But I still have hope you'll one day share my point of view. I'm pretty sure there's the more to it, though. Take care of your own patients and try not to forget who you're dealing with. God. Was your ears. Threat? What did he mean? It was a warning. Dr. Fuller is this institution's founder and one of our profession's most influential voices. My word is of no weight against his. If I continue to protest... I will only ruin my reputation and career. That's what happens. It's scandalous. Can't we do anything? Is there no evidence of his crimes? Oh, I like you, Miss Nurse. The hidden files are proof. Nobody mentioned I crimes. I disapprove of Fuller's methods, but his treatments have saved more lives than I can count. And Mr. Blake? You said yourself he was dying. I didn't say he was dying. I don't know what to think for now. What I'm sure of is that Fuller is hiding something from us. And I need to know what that is before I take a chance exposing him. Smart. And where would you find I'm glad I chose. In his office? What if you get caught? I'd rather not think about that. I'm counting on your discretion. Oh, of this course, nurse is doctor. just out to help you me. You can count on me. I'll keep mum. Keep mum? You. Hey, zoom in. Ooh. An unknown medicine. Judging by the other ones, it causes heavy side effects. Dang. Block B. Yeah, hey guys. Sorry, that took like nine minutes to get through. The story is just so... Oh? Can I hide? I cannot. Oh, what's this? This place draws you in and never lets you go. Oh, it's how much time has been passed. 1924. To think that the few games I'm playing are around this time period, either during the war or like, or close to the war or during the the flu pandemic, actually. Chronic insomnia, like half the island.
The answers must be hidden in Everybody Fuller's Elsa. Everybody says it. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make this up. And I'm the one who pays. What a pest. It's so unfair. Elizabeth? You all right? Oh, what a cute Why girl. Why is this room in such a state? Because, as always, I'm cleaning it by myself. Aww. And the water was once hey, we shut off this morning. We share... I had to bother Mrs. Donovan again, giving her a new excuse to belittle me. Oh. Do you really need Mrs. Donovan to open a valve? Why not ask the janitor? I can't make these decisions without her approval. Imagine if there were a leak. Anyhow, the boiler room is locked half the time. So well, anyways, time we have the, the same glasses. Shut off, you. I have to go and endure her reproach until she's settled the problem. I see. Or, or Courage, you can learn how to. Thank you, doctor. Or you can learn how to be a douchebag and like, all right, you want this clean? Can't do it without the water. You shut that off. It's temperamental, if I understand correctly. <laughs> I don't know. There's there's other ways to handle things, but if you're giving her the power to belittle you, of course she's gonna use that because Oh, I don't like that. Ew. Oh, is this just like one of those hot sauna things? What's this? I'm um I'm following the right side of the wall, by the way, just so that way I don't... I'm pretty sure this place is huge. Oh. Oh, that's pretty, to be honest. Even with everything looking dead. Are these... Is this the janitorial area? Uh... Anything shine out to me? Just this. Ooh, book of medicine. What? God. Why are these here? Ah. I see. Hold on. Where are you? Hello? I have little time for you, Doctor. Oh, Miss Donovan. You'll find out that it's not only the doctors who have things to do. Uh, you're one of those types. Those types of nurses. See, the thing is, is that, like, they both do really important heavy jobs, both sides. And I understand both sides and how they feel about things, but, like, if the system could be made better, then they wouldn't feel as dragged down. But at the same time, it's like, this is what they were trained for, so they're going to be trained for what they were meant for, particularly, while, um, while nurses were, are going to be doing what they were trained for, which is, sadly, a much bigger range to handle other things, while... Doctors had study and trained no, for other stuff. My leg. I'm not joking. I saw the schedule. She's alone in the bathroom again. And she still says nothing to that old witch, Donovan. Aww. Oh, listen to the way you talk, you naughty girl. <laughs> and the answer is no. You can imagine that she doesn't dare say a thing. That silly goose lets herself be trodden on. Ah, oh, see, so they know oh, better. Well, at least we won't have to clean for a while. And just wait and see the next time the water's cut off. It's a real show. That's mean. Dr. Colden? Hold on. The doses prescribed by Fuller are far too high. We're running out of this medicine. I know, Doctor. We sent the purchase order, though, but Mrs. Donovan refused it. What? Once again. Why? Can't you do anything? Donovan takes her instructions directly from Dr. Fuller. I'm afraid I can do nothing about it for the moment. That's sad. Ooh. The pseudo scientific clerk by Cesare Lombroso colorates the individual's morphology as criminal predisposition. Um, predispositions. Thank you. Wow. I couldn't talk. The seriousness of the study and the areas of the distress can be deceived as an, deceive an uninformed reader. Oh, what's this? We've been waiting to be restocked for weeks. Oh, it's that bad. Oh, it's that bad. We're okay. running out of this oh. no what? Don All right, hold on. God, I don't like those little 
dust clouds that float around everywhere. Ooh, what's this? <gasps> Medicines and secrets! Is there nothing else in here? Really? Oh, hey! Watch out for the water, Doctor. Did it leak again? Is that what happened? Oh, block B. Kitchen! There's a kitchen in here, too? God, I feel bad because I'm just walking around. Wow, these are big pots. Oh my god. What would you even be cooking with these pot? that pot for? It's bigger than that! It's bigger than the bowl! Look how big that pot- those two pots has to- compared to apples. Dang. Oh my god. Ooh, what's this? Patients and hospital personnel eat the same food. Okay. Is it bad? Gentlemen, may I help you? We're waiting on news regarding our mother, Maureen Harding. She came in with a kidney problem, but we haven't heard anything since. I'm sorry. Dr. Fuller is a very busy Aww. man. Well, is there anyone else who can tell us what's going on? I don't know. She's our only family, you know? And we can't even see her medical file. Aww. Don't I'll examine worry. I'm aware our institution is not always welcoming. But your mother is in good hands. I'll tend to her myself. And keep you informed at once. Would that suit you? Well, that sure sounds great to us, Doctor. Thank you. Aww. But those are just words. Why are you guys... So we're not budging. Very well. At least I'll know where to find you. But you guys wearing the same pants and the same jacket, just different shirts. One's wearing a hat. Block B. Doctor, please. Uh, my chest. Uh. I gotcha. His perfusion of a semi physiological solution doesn't seem to work. He's undergoing a ventricular fibrillation. Uh, yes. sure. Deborah. Come and help me, please. His potassium level is too high. Replace it with 2% glucose solution with insulin, calcium, and sodium bicarbonate. Have you been crying this I'll whole time? I'll do it right away. Thank you. He's in your hands. Oh, I feel so bad, because he's just been crying this entire time. Hay fever. What's he doing here? Why are there bloody bandages next to him? He broke his back in an accident down by the docks. Ah, oh, the whaling station. What's wrong with me? What are you talking about? Ah, uh, doctor, is that you? Yes, it's Dr. Colden. Tell me what happened. Hey? It's the old whaling station. See? The one that hides the smuggling business. I like how oh, everybody no, knows. Not them. They don't go on that side of the island. Really? Everyone in his place. The captain on one side, Cat on the other, and me. Well, I've been to the whaling station, I have. Alright. What did you see there? Nothing. Nothing at all. The floor was all rotten and I fell straight through. Whoa! Hey, what's and up? That's how you broke your back. Can I help you? Perhaps. No idea. Passed out. I'll just sleep. Oh. Dr. Colden? At least you're tending to him. <gasps> Mrs. Whoa. Sanders. Oh, I'm sorry. Why what? Did nobody tell me about her admission. The file describes the same which I read into the Riverside Institution as well as the treatment administrator to her. Fuller added a handwritten note. He recommends to take her down to the psychiatric unit or to provide her with the quiet and rest that she needs. Oh. <gasps> Oh. Oh, I thought she was dead for a moment. I was like, why is she just out? Wait, can I see that really quick? Wrong, wrong. J. Journal. I remember. Uh, knowledge. Oh, we share the same stuff? That's kind of cool. Oh. Oh, it's not letting me know anything else? Who sleeps with her legs slightly bent? Oh, it scared me. Oh, at least she seems fine. She seems to have slept really pretty, though. I'm actually really dressed about how she looks right now. Dang, look at all these sleep aids. Oh, so there's Harding. 
She's still sleeping. Given she hardly her file, a nephrectomy would have been inevitable. But Fuller was able to save her kidney. Can I tell them how she's doing? Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's doing something to like revitalize limbs. Like he has a lot of decomposed limbs, but the what same time. What is the boiler room key doing here? I'm taking it. The key to the boiler room, not where I expected to find it. Oh. God, that's so pretty. How much time have I spent? I've spent so much time just walking around trying to make sure I'm not missing a damn thing. Intoxication from breathing organic vapors. Another insomniac. I should find the cause for such a widespread trouble. Hello? Dr. Colden, here you are at last. This patient was again brought up to the psychiatric wing. Oh. We've been following the treatment you prescribed, but the dyskusia persists and he's lost a great deal of weight. Is he, he haven't been bleeding from his ears? Him. The stress makes him hyperallergic. Sir, I am going to examine you. Do you understand? Inject him with a dose of pentobarbital, intramuscular, so that I can conduct the clinical examination. How many doctors are like watching this and are actually like correct he or not correct? His lips so much, they're still bleeding. White froth, evidently because of such drooling. Does he have freebies? His binds left bloody wounds. So, Doctor, what should we do with this patient? Why are your lips so blue? Uh... From his bindings? Unless he's crazy. You did good work. The tranquilizer has kicked in. Now you can disinfect and bandage his wounds. Thank you, Doctor. And as to his weight loss? Trying to figure I'll that prescribe out. Prescribe an antifungal treatment for his dysgusia. dysgusia. In the meantime, feed him intravenously. Intravenously. See, the thing is, is like, if he has, oh, even his legs are bleeding. He's either being, I don't know if he can be considered mistreated, but because like during this time period, like they, they tried to do what they could, but like, of course he's gonna if he's dealing with this much stress and the way he's attacking his mouth the way it is it seems like he would just be constantly moving and jumping around just unhappy or like just, I don't know I don't know the right way to put it I know you hello it's a quiet little town days go by steady as ever I wanted more for myself but but why do you all have the same pants you don't just say but and act like nothing happened. Do do do. Doctor Colden. No, I'm working. I didn't call in. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. In theory, this is where we hang the key to the boiler room. Doctor Fuller always keeps his key with him. Doctor Colden, we need you at once in dormitory B. Do we? What's the what situation? Mr. Evans seems to be having trouble with his IV. Why is there so many? Deborah is looking after him. And the family of Mrs. Harding is asking to see her medical file. I got you. I don't understand why it's so hard to see patients' files around here. Rules are rules. See, with Dr. Fuller, he's in charge. Anyhow, they're still waiting, Did and I don't think they'll leave until they come get here? what they want. Understood. Anything else? As a we got like fact, a New Jersey, yes. we got like a Southern. A man has been brought up from the basement. I saw that too. I saw him, yes. It's always the same thing. They bring them up without any explanation, with a multitude of self-inflicted injuries. Self-inflicted. We take care of the wounds and then they leave. Each time I feel like I'm sending them back to hell. Their affliction is not our responsibility. You cannot save everybody, Doctor. Uh, at least you're a realist. Doctor? Uh, all right, I'm great. I'm going. My bad. Ooh, says this man, Edward Pierce. His file is incomplete. Edward Pierce. What did Fuller Me? do to him? It does not respect standard practice. What's in here? Oh God, this place is humongous. I'm leaving doors open to make sure that I remember where I go. 
but oh my god, this is so much bigger than down the, the 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 dormitory nonsense they have happening downstairs. Hey, what's up? Ethan. Marie, I What are you doing here? I'm waiting for my medication, of course. God, you have the most eye-lined eyes. Tell me your symptoms. I have headaches. And I can't sleep. Do you suffer from insomnia? No. Look. God, I'm laughing at what your eyes look like. Ethan, if you don't trust me, then who? I have nightmares. They keep me awake every night. It seems stupid, I know, but they're terrible. Actually, you're not the only one. No. No one has ever seen the things I see. It's like I'm turning mad. So many people have this affliction. It's like an epidemic. Do Another you one? think it might be related to Fuller's work? God, you have either the yet, thickest I will eyelashes or you're wearing eyeliner. Everyone in Darkwater is suffering from nightmares. Really? We really? don't have any medication left. Oh. There's no excuse then. I should let you work. Take care, Ethan. You too, Marie. Ethan Bradley. Oh, don't just go back to sit down. I should have asked you more questions. I don't questions. get why they have us waiting so long. Uh, Almost no patients here. Have you seen the back? Oh god, you're one of those. I just got triggered really fast. Where did my fiancé go? I hope those nutcases will stop burdening her with work. Aww. Reception. Ooh, what's this? Sorry, but nobody can take anything until I finish the inventory. I don't know why, but you, like, made my brain go back all the way to recess. You know that old cartoon? What's in here? The operating room is never accessible after an operation. Oh. Hello. You have some bulging eyebrows. Excuse me, sir, there's no smoking in the hospital? Uh... Let's hope I can go through the administration office. Okay. I was just hopeful. Boiler room. I don't have any business in the boiler room. Yes, we do. Pharmacy, her. Um, where are the boys? There they are. There we go, there we are, there we go, there so, we are. So, Doctor, have you been able to examine our mother? I saw her, she's fine. I've tended to her, and I have good news. Her blood analysis is reassuring. Her kidneys are as new. Are you talking about the same person? This is miraculous. She's still recovering, but you may speak to her upon her awakening. Oh, thank you so much, Doctor. What's up with we'll all the people with the ratty teeth? We've been here since this morning, so it won't make a difference. Oh, what good boys. Thank you again, Doctor. Oh, what good boys. Um. She said through administration, right? I have a... I don't know what it is, but... Oh, you know what? Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? Isn't he in here? Dr. Colden. Mrs. Hi. Donovan. Nobody goes into Dr. Fuller's office. God, they're so assured. angry. I'll tell him you came by. That won't be necessary. Thank you. I will tell him, nonetheless. Okay. Uh, cut off the water or distract her? Is there another way to distract her? Because I feel super bad. So I guess the operation was their mom. Oh, hey. Please. Any more interruptions? I'm almost finished. Do you want something? Yeah, how to get her face out of my face. Hawkins wing. Generous donor. Okay. Oh. Why is it all... Oh. Uh... Hello? You should have just taken it earlier, the key I swear. To the boiler room. 
All I have to do is shut off the water and hope Donovan takes the bait. Hopefully, but at the same time, I feel so bad. Oh, it's just. You're not asleep. I can still talk to you. Um. Dr. Colden? Hello. Alright, fine. This place draws you in and never lets you go. Yeah, but if you don't say anything, then you're just gonna have to continue to deal with it. Fine. Wow. That's one hell of an intense looking boiler room. <coughs> I can't shut this with my bare hands. I need a tool. Find a tool. Secondary objective. Ah, she's gone. Ooh. A monkey branch. Ah, da -da 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 -da. But yeah, hi guys. Sorry, I I don't I didn't realize I was not talking for most of this. Um, I've just been working for the past several days, so it just didn't occur to me that I haven't been like having I haven't been talking as much as I should have. Wow. I feel guilty about Elizabeth, but I need the diversion. Do I? Oh yeah, go back to Elizabeth. It's temperamental, if I understand. Dr. Colden, might there be a problem with the water? I was about to mention it. It seems it's been cut off yet again. I mean, the guy was cleaning the bathroom. I can't bathroom. take this, Marie. I feel I'm gonna burst. The it's slap not a your bitch. fault if we have defective plumbing. And yet, I'm the one who gets punished because I'm gonna have to square off with that annoying old witch. Yeah, Marie, square off. Elizabeth, here we go. And hold your tongue this time. Now, nah, do us all a favor and... And, and slap a hoe. Where'd you go? That poor girl. Last, the missing files, the Stendhal syndrome. Subject display mental disorders linked to exposure of works of art. This is for Francis Sanders. Yeah, I'm gonna check everything else first before I get to the main part. Oh, something is wrong with these masts. It's I'll do it. Some sort of puzzle. I'll do it in a bit. Hold on. Really? Something is wrong with these masts. It's some sort of puzzle. Oh, I've unlocked something. Yeah, of course, that's not going to be hard. The cylinder was hidden inside Fuller's office. He recovered his thoughts about one of the many physicians who see a uh, psychoanalysis sessions he submitted Sir Hawkins to. Patient files. I was right. You might want to put these back. How's this not going to be noisy? Conclusions. Session number 17. Oh. Patient. Sarah Hawkins. The patient appears to have finally accepted the illusory nature of what she calls the mythos. Ah. This finger it belonged to a woman. <gasps> Why keep it here? Oh, God. Is she missing a finger and I'm not aware of it? It says there's more stuff in the room. Ah, here we go. Why is Ethan on medication? Oh, her shoe's in here. Hold on, why is her, sh her burnt shoe in here? I don't remember this being a part of anything. Why is her burnt shoe in here? Why does Dr. Fuller write psychological reports about Sarah Hawkins? At first, I presumed that her blood was the key. But I found nothing to it. 
to explain Mrs. Hawkins' abilities. What? Oh, medicine? The poor souls downstairs are not Fuller's only subjects. I'm sorry, could you explain to me at least this? Tell me why you got the shoe. Oh, psychology. Hawkins, Fitzroy, and Fuller. What is the connection between these three? What? To set the mall in the basement. When all the fuss about the Hawkins incident finally comes to an end, I will dispose of her belongings. Hey, is that where you put her shoe that I kept? Oh. In plain sight. Um. Is this all that he recorded? Because that's kind of creepy. Of course. Sarah Hawkins is the connection. I must go back to the basement. Do we have to? I don't know if I trust it. Can I go out of this I way? should go another way. Why? Uh, she left it open. Alrighty. Any books I want to look at here? Dang. Oh, I wasn't expecting this one to go as long as it did, but I guess it did. Sorry, I'm making sure to also check that I haven't, like, missed anything for these desks. Uh, basement, basement, basement. Hello, have I talked to you already? Oh, she's here now. But yeah, I... I'm just so intrigued. Oh, that looks like a skull face. That's cool by what's going on right now because we're in her body for some reason. I left all the door most of the doors open. Do, 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 do. Why are we just strolling? Like there there's no pro wow, how far does this place go? Oh god, this reminds me of the second Tomb Raider game. When you're just going around that one like peninsula and just going finding all these like deep oh oh this is where bradley came in and found him on the floor that's where i escape that's the entrance oh crap no i try to escape ah now that's the marie that i know I knew I could count on your scientific curiosity. It's time to show you what you were so eager to discover. Oh, crap. <gasps> could I have avoided you? Oh, God. Could I have avoided him? Because there's the other ways to go, right? Dude, your face looks janked up. If you're gonna shoot me, at least have the decency to look me in the eyes. Turn around slowly hey there's the guy at the bar talk filthy thief oh, i swear i'll shoot uh it was charles hawkins eloquence and strength you're not a killer take a Aww. minute to look around everything points to charles hawkins he's dead no he was here for a very specific item. Am I gonna get oh. shot? No. The book. Why was it in the safe? Have you read it? Answer the question. How foolish of you. Now you won't be able to escape his will. What about you? What did it show you? Uh. Oh. 
That would have been nice. She went into Fuller's office. She was looking for Sarah Hawkins' corpse. Sarah Hawkins, you say? Let's go back to the start, shall we? I would like to have answered nice things. Whose life did the Necronomicon choose to show you? <laughs> Necronomicon. Dr. Colden. She was at the Riverside Aww. Institute. She's in danger. I have to go. Wait. No one knows the occult better than me. You might need my help. Sure. All right. If all I'm right. getting help, I'm going to take help. I might right? need you after all. Perfect. Let's meet later at the Hawkins Mansion. Why would I not now accept go. help? Rescue the doctor. Thank you, Drake. Where's Josh? Oh my god, how far is this institute? Alright, I'm going to end it there, guys. But thank you guys so much for joining me for this one. Please like, share, subscribe. Let me know how you feel in the comments below. I'm going to read this one a little bit later. Um, it's the Riverside Institute Chapter 9. And I'm going to read it for the next coming episode. But for right now, I'm going to call it here. Um, I think I already said the please like, share, and subscribe thing. But... It's, it's been pretty good. It's pretty getting a lot better. I like it. Um, I really hope that I get a lot better and I'm not as tired. Because I also just worked <gasps> dry through today. So I'm just, I talked a lot. So I guess that's the other reason why I wasn't considering talking as much. I probably should have waited to record. But we got a lot of information because hers was just story driven, which was kind of nice at the same time. All right. But until then, we're going to go try to save the doctor. Hopefully. <sighs> I don't know what to expect because like whatever he he dosed her with whatever was like he's been using on other people right and then she like scp 3000 like for real <laughs> it's gonna put her in a comatose state like that's the only reason why i can understand that why they they got like a bunch of sleeping stuff or stuff to put people like in a mellow state it's SP, scp 3000 if you haven't looked it up check out scp 3000 it is a giant monstrous sized eel that is basically half the length if not more of california reaching from like uh the very tip top of it to like it's like california wait other way for you guys to sake. so california like that it's most of the length of california and it only eats humans but it only eats every once in a while, so it's in, like, a stasis mode most of the time. Oh, God, I'm going off about SCP-3000. But check it out, guys. I promise you, it's a pretty interesting one. But until then, ciao!